What's up? What's going on, guys? Your boy Earl Shatter here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're basically closing up Special weekend one of the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 beta. And overall, we have a pretty good idea of how we feel about the game, what we like, what we don't like. Is this game good? That's the real question here. Personally, I think this game is very, very well done. Obviously, this is the beta. We got a 31 gigabyte, 32 gigabyte download. We were given five maps this weekend so far. And those maps are all pretty decent in my opinion. There's no map that I dislike, that I hate, that I absolutely despise. There are a few maps obviously that I do prefer over others. Gridlock is probably one of my favorites. I actually kind of like this map, which is Contraband, oh, quite a bit as well. Very bright, very beautiful. Um, first things first, we got to talk about the body armor. Obviously with the time to kill in this game, which is something we hope that they do change a little bit. Maybe we'd like to see the health go down to 125. With body armor, I think that would put you at 175. I feel like that would make us feel a lot better about it. But the body armor overall is pretty, pretty overpowered. Honestly, you can get into a gunfight 1v1 with somebody that has it. They don't even have to start shooting you right away. And they can still just absolutely melt you before you're able to completely take them out if you don't have, if you don't hit 100% headshots. I don't know about most people, but I don't want to run body armor all the time to feel like I'm not getting melted. I honestly don't have body armor on most of the classes. I tried it a couple of times. I don't really know. I don't think it interests me too much. I found the acoustic sensor was pretty cool as well. Um, you guys will find that that thing's pretty strong. So you guys will end up having to run dead silence to counter that. The gear in this game is interesting. It's going to be I'm very, very curious to see once, you know, day one actual launch day comes. Like, what comes what comes of all the, the gear, what tweaks they make, the tweaks they don't make, what actually becomes the, the, the number one choice. Um, another topic I would like to discuss would probably be the time to kill. Honestly, you see here in a lot of this gameplay in the background, sometimes it does look like I kill people pretty quick. Other times it feels like you gotta shoot the crap out of them. But, I will say after playing throughout the whole weekend, the time to kill kind of didn't feel so bad. I'm sure once I go back to trying to play World War II, you, you know, who wants to go back and play that? Or even something else, maybe if, if I decided to play Black Ops 3. I'm sure the time to kill would feel pretty fast on those on those games in comparison to playing this. Um, headshot damage seems pretty t strong when using high caliber, but when you're not using it, it does seem to take quite a few shots still. I don't know, I think it's something we could adjust to. We'll see if they actually do change it. Another thing I want to discuss is obviously specialists. Ideally, this wasn't something I was hoping would return come Black Ops 4, but overall, they weren't as bad as I thought. There are some things I would like to see change. The dog is crazy. I don't know how people people feel about the dog. If you guys let me know down in the comment section if you guys did play this beta or watch the beta, if you guys think the dog is crazy or overpowered in any way. I don't know what they could do to change it, but I feel like he could use a little bit of a change. Maybe a nerf of some sort. What is it? I want to say it's Profit. The Tempest? The Tempest isn't as good as you would think. However, he does have a little wheelie thing that freaking electrocutes the guy and stays and keeps him stuck in place. At first game I actually had on this game, I got stuck like that maybe once or twice by that guy. I absolutely didn't understand what was going on. Very frustrating. But it is absolutely frustrating when you do get hit by this thing and you don't have tactical mask. It feels like it takes forever. You know, recon's highly used. The health, uh, crash is really good with the health packs. Personally, like, Seraph, you know, back with the Annihilator. Also, Battery. The guns in this game are balanced. Specialists aren't too crazy. Like I said, the few that, that are offset, I feel like they're going to go ahead and tweak them. It is week, weekend one of the beta. There's plenty of time for them to do a lot of different changes. As far as weapons go, I think... You know, maybe the... I'd like to see them tweak the snipers a bit. Those seem to be a, a little overpowered as far as quick scoping goes. Maybe there's a few weapons that could use a few tweaks. Nothing that comes up, you know, off the top of my head. There's a lot of guns I really like. 
feel like a lot of guns are really, really good. Nothing seems super unbalanced to me. Um, one thing I think I, they should address is the the score streaks. They could use a little bit of a buff. They don't quite do as much as you were used to in the past. But maybe that was their intention. Maybe they have something to say about that. I highly doubt that's what they were going for. But overall, I think the game is really, a a really fail. good. Uh, it's going to be a really good year. It's going to be a good purchase. I don't know if you guys will want to go for that Black Ops Pass per se, but definitely make sure you, you go out there and get this game. If you are a Call of Duty fan at all, I think you won't be too upset. And if you are, maybe uh, Call of Duty just isn't for you anymore because it seems to be going in new directions and maybe it's just not for everybody. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you guys do hit that like button. We have a goal of 50 likes. On, if you guys are new and enjoying the content, make sure you guys do subscribe. And also hit the notification bell so you guys do know when the content goes up on the channel. I appreciate you guys for all the support. Can't wait to get back out there for weekend two. See you in the next video. Peace.